Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between forehand welding and backhand welding. While joining two components by either gas welding or arc welding, the flame or arc can be moved towards the direction of weld progression or opposite to the direction of weld progression. Forehand welding, also known as forward welding and push welding, is one arc or gas welding technique where the electrode or flame is pointed towards the direction of weld progression. As shown in this figure, in forward welding technique, the welding torch remains just above the completed weld bead, the torch also makes an obtuse angle, greater than 90 degrees, but usually between 135 degrees to 150 degrees, with the torch feed vector, considering the direction. Filler metal can also be supplied, however, filler rod is applied ahead of the torch. On the contrary, backhand welding, also known as backward welding and pull welding, is one arc or gas welding technique where the electrode or flame is pointed away from the direction of weld progression, thus the torch makes an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, but usually between 30 degrees to 45 degrees, with the torch feed vector, considering the direction. So, let's look into the basic differences between forehand welding and backhand welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in forward welding, the flame or electrode is pointed towards the direction of weld progression, whereas, in backwards welding, the flame or electrode is pointed away from the direction of weld progression. Number 2, in forward welding, the torch is inclined at an obtuse angle, usually between 135 degrees to 150 degrees, with a feed vector, whereas, in backwards welding, the torch is inclined at an acute angle usually between 30 degrees to 45 degrees, with a feed vector. Number 3, in forward welding, the torch is situated above the deposited weld bead, or puddle, whereas, in backwards welding, the torch does not remain above the weld bead, rather it remains above the unfill root gap. Number 4, in forward welding, filler metal is applied ahead of the torch, whereas, in backwards welding, filler metal is applied behind the torch. Number 5, Preheating of the base metals takes place automatically in forehand technique, whereas, no preheating occurs in backwards welding. Number 6, no postheating occurs in forward welding, whereas, backhand welding technique facilitates postheating of the deposited weld bead. Number 7, in forward welding, the weld joint is subjected to undesired residual stress, whereas, Post-heating allows the joint to be continuously annealed that helps relieving the residual stress in backwards welding. Number 8, in forward welding, preheating offers a faster torch feeding rate, which helps in improving productivity, whereas, in backwards welding, torch feeding rate usually slow due to lack of preheating. Number 9, forward welding increases the filler deposition rate but cannot fetch deeper penetration, whereas, Backwards welding assists in achieving deeper penetration, though filler deposition rate is slow. Number 10, tendency of spatter formation is more with forehand technique, whereas, backhand welding technique creates comparatively less spatter. Number 11, forward welding technique offers good visibility to the welder, whereas, in backwards welding, the weld zone has poor visibility. And, difference number 12. Forward welding is preferred for joining thin plates, usually up to 3 mm without edge preparation, whereas, backwards welding is preferred for joining thicker plates, 